Lighthouses have fascinated people since the beginning of times. The first known lighthouse, the Pharos of Alexandria was completed about 280 BC in Egypt. It was more than 350 feet tall, until an earthquake destroyed it in the 1300s. The world's oldest working lighthouse, La Coruna, stands at the northwest tip of Spain. The Romans built it early in the 2nd century AD it's also called the Tower of Hercules. The oldest active U.S. lighthouse is the Sandy Hook Lighthouse at the Gateway National Recreation Area in New Jersey. It first lit the night in 1764. The first U.S. lighthouse to use electricity is also the world's most famous lighthouse, the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. For 16 years, from 1886 until 1902 its torch carried an electric light that was visible for 24 miles. The tallest masonry U.S. lighthouse is the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse on North Carolina's Outer Banks. It was recently measured at 207.5 feet from the bottom of the foundation, about 10 feet underground, to the top of the spire. The newest U.S. lighthouse is the Charleston Lighthouse on Sullivan's Island, South Carolina, completed in 1962. It has rather strange-looking triangular structure. It is also the only U.S. lighthouse with an elevator and air conditioning. The last but not least fun fact about lighthouses is that you can make one of your own. All you need are three or four ceramic garden pots and a few other items. Today I'm going to show you how. For this project you will need three clay garden pots, two larger ones, and one smaller one, two potting saucers, same size, one should have a hole in the middle of it, three colors of outdoor paint, I'm going to use white, red, and black, masking tape, a pencil, a sharpie, I'm going to use black, epoxy glue, three paint brushes, one small cocktail glass, one tea candle. Prepare your working area. I'm laying down an old shower curtain, so I don't get paint on the balcony. Mount pots on top of each other. Make sure they are lined up straight. Use a pencil to make markings so you can align the pots in the proper position. Prepare the epoxy glue. Mix it well. Smear glue above the lines you marked on the pots, and join the pots together. The smaller pot goes on top. Give them plenty of time to dry. Apply the first coat of paint. I'm using white. Most lighthouses have some white. Depending on how well the paint covers, you may want to give it two coats of paint. Let it dry completely before taking the next step. Use masking tape to cover the areas which you want to remain your first color. I am going to paint horizontal red stripes, so I'm marking the lines. Apply the second color. As I said, I'm using red. Once again, you may want to give it two coats of paint, depending on how well the first coat covers. Let it dry. I'm painting both saucers with the third color, black. Two coats of paint might be a good idea. Let it dry. Draw windows using a sharpie. I'm using a black sharpie to draw two windows. If you are not confident to use a marker right away, you may use a pencil to mark the windows first. Now, let's put it all together. The saucers go on top of the lighthouse. A glass with a tea candle goes in between saucers. Voila! Our lighthouse is ready. Subscribe! See the light!